Today's flowers are more beautiful than ever and even have a longer vase life due to modern technology. But somehow with the advance of science, the scent of a flower has disappeared. As consumers, a flower with no smell is disappointing. But for the pollinators, like bees and other insects, no aroma equals no pollination. And without pollination, many flowers and fruits are not reproducing as they should be. Barren flowers ultimately affect the perfume industry, commercial fruit and vegetable production, and wine businesses that depend on odors to sell their products. A team of scientists at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and American universities, Purdue in Indiana and University of Michigan at Ann Harbor, recently discovered a way to genetically enhance the fragrance of flowers, increase the smell during different periods of the day, and even implant a scent in blooms that traditionally don't smell. The basic notion today is that flowers don't smell anymore, okay? And people even don't uh, expect even for a cut flower to smell anymore because uh, long years of uh, cultivation have actually gave us um, very excellent cultivars. But somehow during this process, the scent of flowers have been lost. What we want to do is actually retain the flower fragrance, but still hold to the other excellent traits so this can be done by genetically engineering plants by manipulating just one trait and uh, one, one aspect of, uh, of a flower without um, damaging and interfering with, uh, with others. And what we also have shown, which is important, is that uh, we didn't see any effect of uh, other traits like vase life on the manipulated flowers which, which are more scented. The major goal of this project is to understand what regulates scent production in flowers. We're trying to understand what are the genes and the enzymes that are involved in production of scent compounds, specifically in flowers. One of the only labs in the world to research the scent of flowers, Professor Weinstein's team of scientists discovered early on that scent and color do have a connection. While scent goes up, the color goes down and vice versa. So by understanding the pathway and the genes that are involved in both of these uh, pathways, we understood what actually regulates production of one versus the other one. In addition to economical impact of scent, uh, it is very important for plants' evolutionary success because based on scent, uh, the pollinators visit certain flowers. And by increasing the scent production, we can think of enhancing pollinators' visitations. And if today you go to a store and you see a lot of flowers that don't have scent, Hopefully in the future, by applying this particular knowledge, we'll be able to enhance scent production in flowers and develop flowers with nice scent. Some people say scent of the past. We believe it will be a scent of the future. The scent of the future will not only help keep bees in business, but also florists, who have noticed that a decrease in scent means a decrease in sales. When it comes to scent, the scientists still have a lot to discover. As for consumers, we figured out long ago that we like our flowers to smell good. Smell is important to me. I always get the big white lilies because they smell the strongest. If we have guests in the house, we buy them to put in the rooms and make it seem fresh and like a hotel. Learn more with Israel 21C.